Good evening, Facebook friends. How are we tonight? What a gorgeous evening, isn't it? Have you managed to escape from the office, escape from work and get out in the sunshine at all today? Uh, I have to admit, I found uh, creative ways in which I could use my phone for business today so that I could do it in the shade or in the sunshine. Uh, I tried my utmost to get the computer screen uh, to work in the sunshine, but that's just not really happening, is it? So uh, I met a, a daddy on school run who he's a website designer. And uh, so shout out to Duncan, who was going, I don't want to go back to work. <laughs> so he was, uh, we came up with a strategy that uh, for every hour's undivided attention you gave your computer screen you deserved 10 minutes walking around the garden so uh for, for, for those of you have you been stuck in an office all day today give me a thumbs up if you've been stuck in the office or uh again give me some hearts if you've actually been out in the sunshine so uh hey nikki hi christine hi melody hey honey hi lee down in glasgow how are you honey yeah look i'm sat up out inside in the front of the office in the very last of the sunshine. And uh, so I had, oh, mwah, hi, honey. Uh, hi, Tracy. And so, cellulite. Yep, you tuned into a good one here, honey. <laughs> the bane of my life. And uh, it is so frustrating, really frustrating. But that what brought this to my attention is the fact that I kind of know the things that bring it out in me personally. And you might be able to relate to this. But it's like, is nature just having a laugh? Why does it have to be these particular things that bring it out in you? It, it seems uh, really unfair that you can do so much right, so much right, try and eat healthily and do the exercise and do all these sorts of things. And, uh, and then just a little bit of alcohol to make life a little bit more happy and bang. <laughs> On it goes. <laughs> is, that, does it, is it just me or does that seem like really unfair? So <laughs> you, you get yourself into party mode and then you go out and you actually party and boom. <laughs> the filling your skin and all of that is sabotaged in an instant. So what brought this to my attention was the fact that I've been really clean in the lead up to uh, going to watch Damon, our son, at the Taekwondo uh, World Championships, where uh, it's going to make, oh, it's going to be the fight of a lifetime for him. Whether it's go whether he's going to be going to the Olympics or not depends on this. And so I've been in clean living because the thought of sitting in the stadium next to many, many athletes and body beautiful people is enough to scare me into not really so i'm making the most of it and being the best i can possibly be and lee is away and he is my most beautiful distraction from things <laughs> healthy and he can lead we over the last 20 years we are our own worst enemy we we because we used to meet only at weekends when we first got together so we'd be apart from monday to friday and then friday to sunday I know some of you that have husbands that work away and partners that work away and things like that. When you get together, it's like, yay, party! And then put in the mix a little bit of sunshine and it's like, yay! But then you have to remember that Monday to Friday isn't the party and you mustn't lead each other astray, otherwise it goes badly downhill. But sometimes we forget that. But hey, everybody's human, aren't they? So hi, Charlotte. Hi, Tracy, Sue. How are you, Julie? So where... Now, this is where you need to help me out here so that I know if it's just me or if it, other people can relate to this. Where on your body does it stick for these? Do you get it on the arm, cellulite we're talking, arm, belly, thighs? Which of it is? Arms, belly, thighs. Please give me an indication because the tips that I'm going to give you will be directly relating to those bits of your body. I'm going to give you three tips that just can help minimise it for you. Um, once I finish ranting about the three things that I think nature very unfairly makes my cellulite come out for. <laughs> so let me know. Yes, ah, well done, Hazel. This is what they call the popcorn effect. Once one of you has the courage to tell me which part of your body your, you hold it, whether it's your arms, your belly or your thighs, then lots of other people will then have the courage. So well done, Hazel. Thank you for being the first to share with me that that's where, where you hold it. Come on, other ladies. Get, help her out here. Who else? Where else? Is it on your arms, 
belly or thighs. That, well done, Emma, for having the courage to say it. Yes. Wendy, the thighs. Yes, Melanie, the thighs. Yep. The thighs. It's a nightmare, isn't it, Michelle? Isn't it frustrating? But you see, a lot of the frustration is, this is the reality. You know I will always give you the truth. You know I will always give you the truth. And uh, <laughs> I was looking dodgy. Yeah, over 40. Yeah, definitely. I'm with you there. Yes, uh, it's uh, arms and thighs. Y yes, yes, Debbie. Uh, it's a oh, whole, thank you, sweetie. Uh, it's uh, thighs. Yep, Laura. So you can relate here. You can relate here, girls. So... The also thing that you need to remember is the media spin us such a yarn on this. Just like I was saying, uh, was it? No, I think it was in Kate's Club the other day. Yes, it was in Kate's Club. It wasn't here. Um, that when you're looking at images of ladies that have no cellulite, you need to know that they are either prepubescent, whatever under 21 years old for a start so their body hasn't even begun to know why it needs to lay down the fat in these places yet uh, or um, you will find that with filters if you've seen somebody on social media that you're comparing yourself to and you think they've got no cellulite I can guarantee the bits that you don't see are what are making them not have the cellulite so if I was to show you my arm here if I've slightly pulled my skin oh no cellulite <laughs> no bumpy bits whatsoever because I'm only showing that bit again if somebody's showing like a bum shot or a bikini shot or something like that chances are they're standing on their heels if you were to see the rest of their body, the way their body is contorting, it's like you do when you're trying to when you're trying to look at your bum in a pair of jeans in the mirror. I can guarantee they'll be doing something like that, and it's a conspiracy because every female has over the age of twenty five has cellulite. There you go. Sorry, but that is the truth. Hey, Susan. <laughs> Hi, yeah, Laura. Thighs as well. Emma. Arms. Arms. Tracy. Yep. Yeah, share with me. Is it arms? belly, thighs, because then I can help you with the tips at the end of this. So, yeah, know it's a conspiracy. Know that every person you see on those, like, the, oh, I feel so sorry for the women that they do the horrid shots, the bikini shots. You know the horrid shots, the horrid bikini shots that they do in those, like, heat magazines and things like that? Those are just reality shots. Those are what you and I, those are the shots that you and I get when we're uh, on, the, on, on the beach, when your husband thinks he's taking a good photo of you in your swimsuit. That's, that's the, what they call the hideous shots in the magazines. The non-hideous ones are the ones where they like the person. They want to big them up at the moment because maybe their magazine's about to get paid for some sort of uh, promotion they're going to be doing in there. Not that I'm cynical, not at all, not at all. But chances are that uh, it's somebody they like and so they've done a bit of airbrushing, they've done it from the creative angle and so there it is. So yes, arms, Christine, yep, it's, uh, yes. So, things that bring it out in me, alcohol. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but it does. Alcohol affects uh, the water retention and therefore that affects the way your skin looks on the top of your muscles. It does without a shadow of a doubt. The other thing, because some of you know I had a cold last week, I was taking, I never ever usually take ibuprofen or uh, paracetamol or these sorts of things because they, they, they really mess up your digestive system and they cause you bloating they cause you water retention and funny old thing, guess what that also uh, causes? Cellulite! <laughs> oh, and kind of make it go by next weekend. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm giving mine a good go, Emma. I, I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> so come on the journey with me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There are things that you can do to, to make a difference in a shortish period of time depending on what body type you are because it also depends on what skin you've got if you're lucky to have an olivey kind of a skin like uh, uh you know what i mean like a mediterranean kind of skin then um that always seems to fit better does it not those of you that have it I'm, I'm very jealous i think it's incredible i think you always look really it's a different kind of look isn't it <laughs> and then whereas uh for reckley <laughs> skin can has to have a bit more of a tan before it can get rid of it but the, co the the color and the tone of your skin 
you can't change that very much. But, so, alcohol, ibuprofen, paracetamol, and uh, then the third, there, the, the third thing that does it for me, if I even look at it, is fast food. <laughs> fast food. Isomerchers look at... Uh, chips or a burger I don't really, but I don't naturally do them very often but I can see straight away when I do um, then it, it just goes straight on there and it's because of the high salt content high salt remember your science classes what does it do mixes up with the moisture takes moisture from here puts it there all the rest of it hey Richie how you doing <laughs> yay Looks like a certain lady. Yes, that's right. That's right. Lady. Rich, it is me. And uh, yes, so that's the ones that do it for me. So it might be for you that it's the fast food. High egg because it, and it's the high salt, high salt content, uh, the ibuprofen and these sorts of things. So never mind that, Kate. Get on with it. How are you going to get rid of it? So there's the simple things that you've heard of before, but you've maybe not heard them in a cake style. <laughs> and that is working the muscle underneath where you've got the cellulite because that effect that affects the way the the, the the way the muscle is under the skin so for the for the thighs if you're doing your squats you're doing if you, whether you're in Kate's club or you're not in Kate's club we do a lot of work on the thighs because you're working when you're working that muscle underneath the skin Obviously, it's moving everything around it, and provided you're drinking enough water, it's going to help get rid of that um, uh, uh, orange peel effect. Definitely, definitely. But, however, if you're working, even if you're working out and you've got quite low body fat, if you're dehydrated. It, it, imagine it, it it's like a, a sponge imagine that sort of effect so if you're hydrated skin's plump looks like this dehydrated ooh, that is showing the orange peel effect dun 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 that's uh yep yeah. high salt you can relate to that can you tracy yep yeah. high salt is also gonna suck the moisture out of your skin don't know where it puts it to be honest i'm not a scientist but i know it gives you cellulite definitely 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 so um at the weekend ditch the crisps if you're wanting to um, the barbecues and all of that sort of stuff just ditch some of the crispy stuff and goes for dippy things instead <laughs> but not crisps um and uh, how much water do you recommend well i was having a big conversation with somebody about this the other day um so the recommended, according to the government, guidelines are two litres a day. I personally think that that is not enough, especially in warm weather. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a high Corinda. And so, yes, uh, I personally drink four pints four, four and a half pints of water a day. And my most important one, and for getting rid of the cellulite, guys, try it and your energy levels, is to fill three quarters of a pint of water with cold water first thing in the morning, first thing to eat your stomach, fill up the rest of it with tap water so the whole thing is warm. You can put a blob of, blob of uh, lemon juice in it if you want. Drink that. It goes right through your system and it's the thing is that it's body temperature i shared something the other week about why you shouldn't drink cold water shocks your system that your body has to work really hard to warm it up and then absorb it by which time you've probably put something else in there already you've probably put your breakfast in there and that's messed up the whole system already so try and drink um body temperature water first thing in the morning really 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 good for cellulite so yes the two liters is the recommended but I think it should be more, but that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> so there we go. And right, so the other thing is massaging, rubbing the surface of there. All of, you know, when they do all of these, um, they, if you go to a salon, they shake it out, they massage it out, they rub it out, they mask it out. But basically what they're doing is they're getting the circulation going around the area that you want to get rid of. So, um, and I, I personally like organic coconut oil. 
Um, that's what I use uh, on my skin for the, the, for the all over bits. Uh, I use something called body renewal for other bits of me, <laughs> tummy bits. Other bits are like a patchwork quilt. <laughs> Body renewal is amazing for that. Message me if you want to know what that is. And uh, but yes, uh, it, but you need a moisturizer and rub the area. Get it's get about getting the circulation going. So it's the circulation from beneath by working the muscle and then the circulation from on top by rubbing it and that. And then if you're drinking enough, flush out through your system and we are all going to look like toned gods and goddesses by the time the summer comes. So Jill, that might be a bit more tricky for you. I, my heart goes out to you. Poor Jill has had probably the worst week you could possibly have. But uh, I hope your son's feeling better as well. And uh, oh, thank you very much, Rosie. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, and uh, coffee will lead to the coffee do. Ha. Funny you should say that, caffeine is the other thing that does it for me. I was only gonna choose three, but seeing you've gone there, Chester, the fourth one that is massive for cellulite is caffeine. Caffeine. I don't know if it's the dehydration effect or the uh, whatever. I didn't manage to put any research into that, but I do know that if you look at co uh, coffee drinkers or if you're drinking a lot of coffee yourself, look at your skin, it has an effect on it. So there we go, there's that. Words of wisdom, wisdom, and the s look. Well, I might blind you actually if I do. Let me do it this way. And oh, did that blind you? Sorry. <laughs> and the sun has nearly set. Chickens have gone to bed. That is a sign for me to disappear. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the sunshine. <laughs> Sorry about my rant about cellulite, but hey, hope it's been of use to you and uh, you can relate to it. Give me some hearts and some thumbs up if you can relate to it. And uh, I've got nomad children rampaging in the background like I did last night. No, they're, 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 they're gone <laughs> before I did the live tonight so they couldn't see that I was distracted. So, oh, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, ditch the coffee. Sorry, Sean. Or just reduce it. Reduce it down to one cup. Even um, even when I'm doing um, what you would call detox or restart or whatever with uh, people in Kate's Club, the the you can any sit in any. You should be able to have one cup of coffee. Otherwise, you go through all that pain in your head for no reason. If you're going to drink coffee again afterwards, oh come on, give yourself a break. <laughs> and also, you. Cover your ears if you don't like talking about body stuff. But also, if you ditch coffee all of a sudden, you'll get really constipated. So there we go. Facts of life, according to Kate. It's uh, yeah, dry, br dry, body brushing. Yes, I, personally, I don't like doing that. I, <laughs> I really don't. But uh, there you go. Maybe you're. Uh, yes, I need to man up. Maybe have a go at doing that. It's uh, oh decaf anyway. Oh Debbie, you're a star. There we go. And uh, hang on, who's drinking the beer? Who, who is drinking the beer? Chester, are you drinking beer? That's, uh, Hi, Becky, how are you doing? Lee admitted to me we were supposed to be having a dry week. He was sat in the sunshine earlier with a beer in his hand. I don't know. <laughs> so, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, enjoyed sharing this with you and I shall see you tomorrow night. I won't be ranting tomorrow night. I'm not sure what I'll be talking about, but I won't be ranting, I promise. And I'll share some tips uh, going into summer with you. Okay then, bye everybody. And, and bye from the dog who's making... Rogan, come here. Making your grotty noises, aren't you? Yes, yes. Because you're cold, because sunshine's gone in. <laughs> bye everybody.